Hey guys, kamusta kayo? Ito uli ang inyong Clever Spender at para sa topic natin ngayong araw na to, pag-uusapan natin kung ano nga ba ang PDAX or ang Philippine Digital Asset Exchange. Titignan natin kung paano mag-sign up dito, kung safe nga ba ito, ano ang mga features nito, at anong digital assets ang available at paano tayo makakabili dito. Kung gusto niyo yung topic na yan, samahan niyo akong tuklasin ang bagong trading platform na to dito sa Pilipinas, dito lang sa The Clever Spender. bago lang kayo sa channel ko, welcome, welcome, welcome! Kung mahilig kayo sa tech and gadget unboxing at sa financial discussions on smart spending, trading, and usage of different financial platforms like Gcash, Paymaya, Coins.ph, different banking apps at marami pang iba, please make that subscribe button explode. Paki-on na din ang notification bell para updated kayo sa mga future videos ko. At kung nagustuhan niyo yung mga videos ko, please don't forget to hit that like button and comment down below para sa mga questions niyo and I'll make sure to attend to it as soon as possible. So guys, kung nakikita ninyo, nandito tayo ngayon sa page ng PDAX. If you want to search for it, all you have to do is to click on pdax.ph and it will automatically route you here. Well, as, as we've mentioned earlier, PDAX simply means Philippine Digital Asset Exchange. Dito tayo makakabili ng Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP on a local setting. Actually, marami pa daw silang ino-offer ng mga cryptocurrencies and I'm curious on what cryptocurrencies are being offered here at least in the Philippine setting and malalaman natin yan mamaya pag sign up natin. Well, the good thing about this company is that they are licensed and supervised by the Banco Central ng Pilipinas. So, dun pa lang legit na legit na. Um, competitive din daw yung mga rates niya. At the same time, secure siya because yung assets and yung wallet solution nila is audited and protected by insurance. Kung makikita nyo rin dito, okay din yung mga partners niya. Kasama na dyan ng BitMEX, Consensus, Ripple, Union Bank, and CMT Digital. And kung makikita nyo sa About Us page niya, medyo established na siyang company because 2017 pa lang siya na-establish. So, ngayon, titignan natin kung paano nga ba mag-sign up dito. Balik lang tayo dito sa first page. Of course, makikita nyo rito, syempre, dapat make sure na pidax talaga yung page na pinagsasign up nyo. Just click on the create account na nasa middle part. So, when we click on that, i-direct tayo dito sa page na to. All you have to do is to put in your email address. So, Lagay ko lang email address dito, cleverspenderph at gmail.com. Okay. Then, make sure na i-keep nyo lang yung Philippines and click mo yung I am not a robot. Of course, accept mo na rin yung terms and conditions and then click on register. After completing that, meron ka makikita ng ganitong message and all you have to do is to go to your email uh, um, email account para ma-check yung registration request or registration link. Pag nakita mo na yan, just click on the complete your registration link and it will automatically direct you to the page. I-require kanya mag-create ng password. For me, um, kinuha ko na lang yung password na nirecommend ng computer sa akin. And then of course, kiklik mo na naman yung I'm not a robot, set my password, and it will automatically route you to this page na mag require ng um, two-factor uh, security authentication. So, pinili ko, enable 2FA pa rin, and mag require siya ng Google um, Authenticator. So, dapat meron kayong ganun. So, pag kinlik mo yan, eto yung lalabas. So, makikita nyo rito na meron siyang option for one-time password at saka yung UB keys. Pero in the meantime, for the purpose of this video, ang pipiliin ko yung one-time password lang. When you click on that, ang lalabas ay itong QR code. So, scan mo lang yung QR code na yan and kung meron ka na naka-install na Google Authenticator sa phone mo, automatically mag-route siya doon and mag-register siya. And then, mag-generate yun ng six-digit code at yung nilalagay mo rito. So, lagay na muna natin dito. Okay, so 979-716. Pagkatapos mo ilagay yan, click on confirm. And naset up mo na yung two-factor authentication mo. So ngayon, pwede na natin i-browse through yung account. At tignan nga natin kung ano yung offer nitong um, trading platform na to para sa atin. Balik tayo dito ngayon. Kung makikita nyo, nasa main trading page na tayo ng PDAX. And kung mapapansin nyo, grade out pa itong mga to. 
So, ibig sabihin, hindi pa tayo fully authenticated, hindi pa tayo pwede mag-payment in, hindi pa tayo mag-payment out, transfer funds or exchange. So, all you have to do is to click on the upgrade account option na nasa lower left ng screen nyo. And when you click on that, click mo lang itong upgrade account and then click on personal and i-reroute ka niya dito sa page na to. So, nakalagay dito yung steps kung ano yung dapat yung kailangan yung gawin para ma-authenticate kayo. First of course is to put in your personal information. You also need to upload your government issued ID. Kailangan dalawang ID yung ilalagay mo rito. Um, kailangan mo rin ng selfie with your ID. And then, you click review and submit. And then, pag nasubmit mo na yan, um, i-review yan ng PDAX team. And in my case, it took them about almost two weeks bago na approve yung um, account ko and then I was able to receive an email the other day and yun yung titignan natin ngayon so after nyo ma-receive yung email nyo na authenticated na kayo you can already perform transactions using the um, trading platform so first syempre magkakashin tayo dito so mamimili ka dito kung paano ka magkakashin so click mo lang itong payment in and then, mamimili ka kung saan mo gusto mag-cash in. Kung galing ba sa fiat currency mo, in this case, Philippine Peso. And then, kung gusto mo mag-transfer ng iba't ibang mga cryptocurrencies mo from another platform going here. So, kung itatry natin yung Philippine Peso, click mo lang itong cash in dito. Marami. Ito yung mga options niya. So, pwede ka mag-transfer via Paymaya using your credit or debit card, pwede ka rin gumamit ng GCash. In the meantime, itong tatlo lang yung available. Um, in the future, nakalagay naman dito coming soon, kasama na dyan yung Instapay, pwede ka na rin mag-transfer using PesoNet, online bank transfer, at syempre yung Union, yung Union Bank na partner nila. Ang isang item dito, nakalagay dito, is 50,000 pesos lang yung pwede mong i-transfer. Ang daily. Tignan nga natin yung monthly. So, yung monthly na pwede mong i-transfer dito is 150,000 pesos. Yung yearly is 400 or 500,000 pesos. And yung daily is only 50,000 pesos. So, dapat take note nyo yan kung magta-transfer kayo rito ng pera. Pero the good thing is, at least pwede kang gumamit ng debit card mo or credit card. Yun nga lang, when we talk about credit card, always make sure na yung mga banko nyo hindi nag-charge ng quasi-cash fee kasi may mga banko nag-charge ng ganyan, just like what happened to Paymaya before, di ba? Kapag nag-charge ka nag or nag uh, nagka-cash in ka sa Paymaya using your credit card, nag-charge kayo. Pero yun nga, whenever it, when it comes to investing, I would discourage you guys to use your credit card kasi utang yan at the same time, ipambabayad mo pa yung um, kung may ma-earn ka ba dito hindi mo pa nga sure kung may ma-earn ka just like what's happening to the market right now medyo bumagsak yung mga cryptocurrencies pero this is a big correction hopefully mag-catch up din yan pero ganun yung nangyayari so never ever use your um, credit card whenever investing into crypto into, into crypto market I would suggest na mas maganda pa yung pera nyo na lang yung gamitin nyo ipon muna kayo bago kayo bumili ng cryptocurrencies kasi medyo risky talaga ang pag invest sa cryptocurrencies transfer ng mga cryptocurrencies nyo from another platform like for example crypto.com, Binance, or Coinbase at gusto nyo i-convert sa Philippine Peso, this is a good platform for you to be able to do that. So, hindi na tayo limited sa coins.ph lang. Meron na tayong PDAX. Pero always remember, meron tong limit na 50,000 on a daily basis and then yung sabi nga kanina 150,000 pesos on a monthly. Pero you can always upgrade that. Kasi may option naman sila to upgrade. Pag-uusapan natin yan mamaya. So, kunyari gusto mo mag-transfer ng mga bitcoins mo from another platform um, scan mo lang itong QR code dito or i-copy mo yung wallet address mo and then automatically matatransfer siya dito ganun din yung gagawin mo sa Ethereum or sa ibang mga cryptocurrencies ayan so syempre kung nalilitan kay sa 50,000 pesos na um, cash in limit niya all you have to do is to click on the upgrade to premium nandito sa lower um, left pa rin when you click on that lalabas naman to and then all you have to do is to fill this out lagay mo yung name mo rito web email category lagay mo syempre account upgrade and then yung subject lagay mo na rin account upgrade na rin lagay mo na lang dito kung ano description ng gusto mo mangyari like gusto mo mag upgrade na account because you needed to um, cash in or to cash out uh, more funds so yun lang siya and then maghihintay ka uli ng verification ng PIDAX and then once you receive the confirmation email na upgraded ka na sa premium account then that's the time na magiging upgraded yung mga or magiging mas mataas yung limits mo 
So, tignan naman natin yung ibang mga options niya. So, kunyari, payment in cash. Pwede ka rin mag payment out, di ba? So, payment out. Uh, Philippine peso lang yung pwede mong payment out. For now, wala pang digital assets na available. So, kung magka-cash out ka, click mo lang ulit to. At pag kinlik mo yan, pwede mo siya i-transfer to Paymaya. At least walang fees ngayon, no? Paymaya, Instapay, Pesonet, tsaka Union Bank, walang fees. Pwede ka rin mag-transfer sa Cebuana pero may fee siya na 28 pesos or sa si M. Lugalier na may bayad na 162.4. So, if I were you, kung may Paymaya naman kayo or kung meron na kayong mga bank accounts, mag-transfer na lang kayo dito. Or madali lang naman mag-create ng Paymaya account. Um, I think may video ako na ginawa about that. So, all you have to do is to click your Um, click this option and lagay mo dito yun nga lang sabi ko nga sa inyo may option may maximum siyang amount na 50,000 pesos minimum amount na pwede mo i-transfer is 200 uh, pesos so kunyari lagay mo na rito 50,000 pesos ilalagay mo lang dito yung account name mo at saka yung paymaya account number mo and then you click on next and then automatically matatransfer na siya dun so ganun din yung gagawin mo sa ibang mga options na nandito so cash out So, madali-madali lang siya mag-convert. So, this is a better option compared to coins.ph, um, at least in my opinion, kung gusto nyo i-convert yung mga cryptocurrencies nyo to Philippine Peso. At least may additional option na tayo ngayon. So, um, tignan natin. Punta pa ulit tayo dito. Transfer funds. Makikita nyo naman dito. Transfer funds dito. Transfer from. Okay from exchange, pwede mo siyang i-transfer to primary, Philippine peso, nandito. Okay, so kung gusto mo i-swap yung Philippine peso mo to another asset or something like that, ito din yung gagamitin mong page, transfer funds. Kung mag-trade ka naman, i-click mo lang yung trade na option sa taas at maglo-load na tong mga ayun. So, mag-load lahat dito ng mga available na mga cryptocurrencies na pwede mo i-trade. So, sabi ko nga kanina, limited lang muna yung mga available. XRP, um, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum, tsaka uh, Tether yung mga available sa kanila. At least, nandito na lahat. Pwede ka rin dito mag-forecast kung ano yung mga Uh, magiging trend ng mga cryptocurrencies. Kung makikita nyo nga ngayon, medyo bagsak yung mga cryptocurrencies ngayon. Ang dami nagpo-pull out ng funds nila, pero it's not supposed to be a cause for panic. Okay, kung makikita nyo ito yung ano, nag-iisang um, stable coin nila, at least meron na dito ng Tether, um, $49 ngayon yung value ng isang dollar. Digital ad, um, asset address, so lalagay mo lang siya dito. Portfolio, kung meron ka ng mga um, purchases na cryptocurrencies dito siya mag appear lahat so yun lang naman guys yung um, yung PDAX I think this is a very helpful tool if in case we wanted to really um, invest into those cryptocurrencies na na-mention ko kanina or kung gusto nyo mag-transfer ng mga cryptocurrencies nyo from another platform to this platform para ma-convert sa Philippine Peso. So, if you have any questions or may mga items na hindi ko na-cover sa video na to, please put on your comments down below para siguro masagot ko siya sa mga future videos ko. I hope that you've learned something today and I was able to walk you through the PDAX platform and uh, maraming maraming salamat ulit guys sa panonood niyo sa video ko ngayon. You all have a good day.